You know, the whole point of the live show was for us to recommend books to you, but unfortunately the tables got switched. Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Jessie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different today. Before we get into the details, I wanted to let you know that me, Jacqueline, and Gwen actually host a live show over on Jacqueline's channel called Rex by the Bottle. It is a quarterly live show where we give specific book recommendations to you. And the last one we did in April, basically we got a little bombarded by recommendations about an author, Chevy Stevens. I personally have not read anything by this author. I've heard this name float around here and there, but nothing concrete to where it made me interested to pick up anything by this author. Like I said on the live show, we were actually flooded with all of these recommendations about Chevy Stevens. I think we were told that she writes really dark, mysterious thrillers, and I was already hooked by that. So I'm not sure exactly how this started, but one thing led to another, and me, Jacqueline, and Gwen were like, hey, what if we did like a collab video about Chevy Stevens? So basically, we each decided to pick up one of her backlist titles read the book take you guys along with us and give you our honest thoughts so before I jump into the book that I picked make sure you follow Gwen and make sure you follow Jacqueline so that way you can see their thoughts and opinions as well and make sure you subscribe because these ladies are top notch anyways I think Gwen is picking still missing and I'm pretty sure Jacqueline is going to do those girls but I decided to pick up That Night by Chevy Stevens. This is my library's copy. And this one just sounded so interesting. Let me read the synopsis. As a teenager, Tony Murphy had a life full of typical adolescent complications. A boyfriend she adored, a younger sister she couldn't relate to, a strained relationship with her parents, and classmates who seemed hell-bent on making her life miserable. Things weren't easy, but Tony could never have predicted how horrific they would have become until her younger sister was brutally murdered one summer night. Tony and her boyfriend Ryan were convicted of the murder and sent to prison. Now 34, Tony is out on parole back in her hometown, struggling to adjust to a new life on the outside. Prison changed her, hardened her, and she's doing everything in her power to avoid violating her parole and going back. This means having absolutely no contact with Ryan, avoiding fellow parolees looking to pick fights, and steering clear of trouble in all its forms. But nothing is making that easy. Not Ryan, who is convicted he can figure out the truth. Not her mother, who doubts Tony's innocence. And certainly not the group of women who make Tony's life hell in high school and have darker secrets than anyone realizes. I love the fact that there's going to be a realistic sister relationship between our main character and her sister because it kind of reminds me of me and my sister like when we were growing up we did not get along or relate to one another we're fine now but growing up we absolutely couldn't stand each other and I think it's gonna be interesting with like the parents and the boyfriend I don't know but I'm actually running late. I need to get out the store and go to work. So I'll bring you guys along with me. I have the audiobook ready to go. So I'm going to start that in the car. So let's go. my appearance let me fix my hair <laughs> okay now that my hair isn't like that bad um I have a small project so I have been working on this small children's vanity all my life like this has just always been my work desk so I have ordered a desk for my reading office and I'm so excited it's supposed to be here Thursday possibly Friday but I'm so freaking excited however it is a much bigger desk it's an l-shaped desk it is an l-shaped desk and I'm so freaking excited to actually have a designated real desk 
for all my YouTube editing, my crafts, everything. I'm so freaking excited. Let me show you what I ordered. So this right here is the desk I'm getting. My husband has one very similar, but it's black. And I have searched high and low for a white desk like this. So I'm so freaking excited. But I'm about to expose myself because everything on this side of the room is an absolute mess. So, I have to get rid of this huge storage thing. I'm going to have to move everything around for this desk to work. So, my husband said he would help me put this together if I got the room ready. So, I'm about to show you the humongous mess that's on this side of the room. So, and then as I'm cleaning the room and doing all that, I'm going to listen to my audiobooks. So, it's really embarrassing. So here is my current desk right here. It is again a very old but then I have another bookshelf here which is staying. I just have to figure out where I'm putting it. I have to get rid of this organizer. That's going away. So I need to get rid of everything that's in there. I need to figure out what I'm doing with all this. But I feel like I could totally do this. So it's just this corner. As for the book though, I completely forgot where I put it. I'm actually really, really liking the book so far. It's very, I don't even know how to describe it. Like it's very easy to read and I feel like, I don't know how to describe it without saying like it like captures like your attention span. I don't know. It, that's such a weird thing to say. But we have our main character, Tony. She's like 17, 18 years old. She's a senior in high school. And basically she has this rebel boyfriend whose family's like from the wrong side of the tracks and everything. Um, she's completely in love with him. And then she's got a sister who is like the perfect sibling ever. Um, like her parents just love Nicole, the younger sister. Like she just can do no wrong. And then you have her mom who is such a complete hard ass on her. And then her dad who care so much for Tony however he doesn't like to deal with confrontation and things like that so the mom basically kind of runs the show around the house then you have Tony's ex-friends Shauna and a few other girls mostly Shauna Shauna is the most popular girl in school I think and basically something happened I think like there was a rumor that went around that Tony was did something to Shauna's boyfriend and of course Shauna believed her so believed that rumor so Shauna is just out to make Tony's life a living hell so but Tony's got her boyfriend who she loves I feel like Ryan actually has a good head on his shoulders like I feel like I'm getting the vibe that he's actually a really decent guy hopefully the plot twist won't make me regret saying that but I feel like he's honestly a great guy that's all we're getting we're kind of getting like glimpses of just her past so we have chapters of the past before the night we have chapters of Tony as she's like you know dealing with everything that happened and basically going to jail her life in jail and things like that so we're kind of having two timelines even though we had a first timeline where she's getting out of jail. So that part confuses me. Mostly we have before that night and then everything of her leading up to her going to jail and her life in jail. So I'm actually really, really enjoying this. I like the audiobook. I love the writing style. Oh, I did forget to mention that the writing style is very similar to what I would think Jennifer Hillier with Jar of Hearts. I feel like this book and also Jar of Hearts has a very similar feeling and tone. Basically a teenager is going to jail for a murder that she may or may not have done and I don't know. I love like the whole like I love the glimpses of life in jail and I love the glimpses of like what happened before what's going on after so if you like Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier I think you would like That Night by Chevy Stevens or vice versa so I'm only like 100 pages into the book so hopefully this book won't let me down but I'm going to tackle this corner so I can get my desk ready because I'm so freaking excited <laughs>
morning everyone welcome to the next day um i did do a lot of cleaning a lot of rearranging and i am ready for my desk so i will show you the setup right now my desk won't arrive until thursday so unfortunately the desk won't be in this video because i'm almost done with the book which i'll get to a little bit later however I'm so excited. Maybe I'll do like a reading room office tour. Let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. So let me show you. So it is very much still looking like a mess, but honestly, I just need the desk to get here so I can figure out like where to put things. But you have the bed right here, which Obi has already claimed as his bed. But the desk is going to go right here. It's L-shaped, so it's going to go right here and here. So these two things will be going away. I just need the desk to get here for me to put stuff on it. So that's why it looks like a mess, but I'm so excited. And then I have my normal things. I do like to have that in the backgrounds, especially as a reading channel. So yeah. All right, so now we're in the car. I'm about to head to work, but before I like put this thing in drive, I wanted to let you know that I made a huge dent into that night and you guys, I am really, really liking this book. I still don't know 100% who could have murdered Nicole. Like, there's so many people that I suspect, but I feel like they're too freaking easy. So, last night I got to page 204, so I'm going to be starting chapter 17, and I only have this much left of the book, so I've read that much, so I'm like way over halfway there. I don't know, if it keeps going the way it is, and it has like an amazing plot twist, it's going to get five stars from me, just so you know. We've gotten to the part where... Tony and Ryan have met back up and like this is just getting so good like I really want to know who murdered Nicole. I usually don't like books where we know who got murdered and then we're trying to figure out the entire way like who actually murdered but there's so many different elements and layers into this story. I'm just like so intrigued that I don't really care that I know Nicole is dead. I just want to know what happened that night because there's so much more than just the murder. There, I feel like there's going to be so much more than just that element. So I'm really excited. So I'm going to listen to the audiobook on the way to work and I will update you guys probably around lunch or maybe after work. I just got home from work and I'm so confused. I literally placed my order yesterday at like 5, 5.30. How is it already here? I was telling people yesterday, I am like unbelievably spoiled when it comes to Amazon Prime, so that's why I don't really shop at other websites because I will not get this fast delivery. Anyways, here, I mean, I'm hoping this is my desk. Ah! I'm so excited! <laughs> this morning that I never officially ended this vlog but I wanted to actually let you guys know that I finished my desk the rest of my room is a little bit of a mess just because I'm learning to like where I want to put things also I have like a lot of stuff on my desk right now like like random office things so I don't think I'm going to show you the official desk just because I feel like I want to do like a room tour for where I do my reading and everything like that so fortunately you won't get to see the finished product but let me just tell you I'm in love with it so and last night I finished that night by Chevy Stevens and guys I'm going to give this one I'm like stuck between a four and a five star like really honestly a four and a half star would be perfect 
but maybe I typically don't do half stars but I think I'm going to give this one four and a half. This book had everything that I wanted. It definitely kept me intrigued and I felt like it was truly thrilling and honestly I'm I'm shocked that I'm shocked about who Nicole's killer was actually like I did not like I should have seen that coming but I didn't see that coming does that make sense so some things I want to mention I really love the writing style I feel like Chevy Stevens writing is very easy to get into I never was once bored or like skimming or anything like that I definitely felt like her actual idea of the story was very interesting and like I mentioned I do think if you liked Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier I think you're going to really like this one just because like it definitely has the same tones same vibes and everything like that but I feel like I like the writing style of Chevy Stevens a little bit more that's just my personal opinion I also feel like I definitely need to pick up more by this author I have already have a bunch of her books in my cart on a website so I will be doing some more purchasing of her books but yeah I really really like this one I feel like this is might be one of my favorite top three thrillers I've read this year so yeah I would love to know if there is another Chevy Stevens book that you want me to read down in the comments or another recommendation I also have the neck alley arc of dark roads which is her newest release that comes out this year so I think I might try to pick that one up pretty soon I will say I'm very interested to know like what Jacqueline thought of her book as well as Gwen so I'm definitely gonna be checking out their videos definitely check out the description so you can check out their channels and their videos so yeah that is everything for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you can see my little office tour that I'm still currently trying to work on but yeah thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys in the next video bye